view. Now, our box-stepping rhythm guitarist, Nino, was a student at Sydney University in the architecture faculty, and he came back to rehearsal, to our band rehearsal one day, and said, the faculty are looking for a band because they're putting on a review, a big show, and would we like to do it? I was, you know, 16 years old, and I said, yeah. I mean, no, I have all those 18, 19 year old university girls. <laughs> I was like, I love the show, I'm going to do the show too. <laughs> right, I remember going off to the, to the faculty, and it was huge. It was Cecil B. De Mill. I mean, it was massive. There were thousands of people jumping around everywhere. One chap seemed to be very much in control of everything, and I turned out to be Graham Bond. <laughs> so I met Graham Bond when I was 16 years old. Graham was about 22, 23, and we hit it off straight away. I mean, you know, we had hair. <laughs> <laughs> we still hit it off now, even though he's got so much more hair than <laughs> No, we did, and there we were with Graham, and we shared so much in common. Graham, hugely musical, and loved the theatre. Rory, musical, loves the theatre, triple threat. <laughs> so there we were, and let me describe the scenes to you. I mean, really, these architecture reviews, they were, they were amazing. We, we had a, a castle on stage, full-size castle, with a drawbridge, the band on the drawbridge, with a moat running underneath the band, into a full-size swimming pool, above ground swimming pool, <laughs> on stage, with people diving in. <laughs> and that was just the overture. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, really, and I found myself at 16 years old being being the the musical director, I guess, and it was so exciting. It was such an exciting time because not only was Graham there, another chap we may have heard of, I've certainly heard him, Jeffrey Atherton, was in the same faculty, wonderful writer, and then we did we did four years of review out of the uni thing and into professional theatre where we were working with Peter Weir. I mean, it was heady, heady stuff. And then a couple of years later, Morris Murphy comes on the scene and crowbars Arnie Jack onto television, and there we were. So, and I'm still at school. <laughs> no, that's all. <laughs> so it was, it, it was a really a wonderful time. And, and look, I just, speaking of Arnie Jack, while we're here, I'm just going to play a short medley of some of my favourite Arnie Jack pieces. Yeah. 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 